Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another stream. Yes, I am back. Hello, the Batravisher. Hello, Mr. Skytrick. Hello, Kachan Chan. Wow, so many of you. Yeah, uh, so many of you came here to, to watch that massive disaster of, of me playing Machina. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I eventually decided to, to give it a go. Uh, I'm, I'm not the greatest Machina player. Uh, I did a few scenarios in the past. Uh, but yeah, definitely I, I constantly struggle with controls in this game. Uh, mostly because they are so complicated. Uh, when it comes to simulation, uh, the game goes really deep into some aspects. Uh, you have to turn on various different elements of the locomotives. And if we are talking about old locomotives, you usually need to either know where they are or you need to remember various different uh, keyboard shortcuts to turn them on remotely. <laughs> And yeah, uh, there's there's quite a lot to it. Uh, the good thing about this game is that it's single player. Uh, so that's the biggest, I guess, uh, pro of this game. Yes, uh, if if someone doesn't like to play in multiplayer only, which which is the case in Train Driver 2 and, and prefers to play through some pre-designed scenarios, Machina is a perfect choice for him. The scenarios are really entertaining, they are really fun, uh, they usually feature a little bit more than Train Sim World is doing, so you do have to start your locomotive each time you load into the scenario, and that's what we are going to do this time. Uh, as you can see, I preloaded a scenario. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not yet, uh, well, the locomotive is not yet started. Uh, so we will have to go through this procedure somehow <laughs> and get ourselves going. Whew. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of stressed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm a little bit scared to press that resume button because when I do that, the scenario will keep on going. And we will have to keep up with uh, with the pacing, more or less. Uh, otherwise, yeah, things things might go very different. <laughs> Raliev, hello, welcome back. Oh my goodness me, you are. Oh wow, yes, you are a channel member for four months already. My goodness me, the time flies, isn't it? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, without any further ado, because uh, right after this stream I will have to go to work. Uh, I get uh, roughly around three hours to do this stream. The scenario is scheduled to last for about two, two and a half. Uh, so I should have some extra time to, to cause some delays. <laughs> so let's get going, shall we? Right, Whew. the moment of truth, isn't it? Okay, so the scenario is now on. Uh, I roughly know what I'm doing. <laughs> roughly. Uh, so let's begin from reverser because we need to turn on the battery. And as soon as I do it, yeah, the buzzer comes up. Uh, okay, so I got the battery sorted. Uh, the game is trying to help me a little bit, but I, I, I might be beyond help. <laughs> uh, right, before we switch on the radio, or the, yeah, let's, let's turn it on right now. Uh, what else do we need to do? Uh, definitely oil pump. Uh, that's one of the things I can do in the cabin. I haven't figured out yet how to turn on uh, fuses for water pump and, and stuff. I, I know the keyboard shortcuts, uh, so I'm going to use them instead. Uh, so uh, that's going to be Control w for water pump breaker. Now we can turn on the water pump. 
And now that's Control Shift and W for uh, water heater. And I think it was uh, 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 shift and W for water heater. There we go. Whew. Whew. We made it. We made it. Right. So now let's turn on the engine. There we go. The engine is on. I hope the game is not too loud for you guys. Um, if it is, uh, if it's too silent, if it's too loud, uh, just let me know. Uh, I will try to adjust the volumes. I'm, I'm still working on it. But it should be alright. I might get it a little bit louder. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, right, uh, now we need compressor. Music's a bit loud. Uh, yeah, I can actually adjust the music. Uh, uh, let me just set the music just to be a background hopefully now it's better is it yeah we we got slight background music okay that that should do uh right let me turn on uh no not this one oh there we go driving aid can be turned off uh right so uh, we need to set up our lights for maneuvers, uh, so that is quite easy task to do. Here we need right uh, white light, and now we need to jump to the other cabin, and that's a nice thing about this game. When before you jump to the cabin, you always end up in engine room, and pretty much almost every locomotive uh, that I tried so far had some sort of engine room that you can actually move around. Uh, perhaps the details are not the best, uh, but sometimes there are some switches and, and fuses that you need to turn on. Uh, so that's a nice touch to the game. Uh, right, let's jump to the other cabin finally. Uh, there we go. Uh, we need left headlight. Uh, there we go. Now we can go back to the first cabin. Perfect. Right. Uh, I guess I will have to adjust the camera every single time I jump between cabins. Uh, I'm, I'm not the fan of this, uh, this solution. Uh, if anyone knows uh, what is the shortcut to, to lock the camera or preset the camera, that would be brilliant. Uh, this way I could adjust it. Uh, once at the start of the or at the beginning of the scenario and then just use keyboard shortcuts to uh, uh, to get it going right uh, is the music alt F4 <laughs> no definitely not uh, there are shortcuts including F4 but yeah definitely not alt F4 <laughs> uh, right uh, right, 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 right. I, I guess we are almost ready. Uh, try right click for camera. I, I can turn the camera with uh, by holding right mouse button. Uh, I can move it with arrow buttons. I can raise it and, and lower it with page up and page down. That's what I know. Alt and left click. Uh, now, Alt will be locking the camera to, to the mouse movement. Uh, this way I will lose my mouse cursor, but I always like prefer to, to have mouse cursor on, on the screen. Anyway, let's set our brakes. Uh, so, brakes are set, and now let's charge them. Perfect. Right, we should be ready. Windows key and L key. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm I'm not gonna try anything with Windows key. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. We got a job to do. <laughs> Yeah, 
I, I definitely need to study the controls a little bit more. Uh, perhaps, yeah, uh, clocks could be lit. I, I really like them. When they got this backlight, they look absolutely amazing. Okay, uh, I guess I can turn off the hints now. Okay, we can now stop. Oh, it would send me to logging screen. Yeah, definitely that's the last thing I want to do during live stream. <laughs> uh, please try and avoid uh, attempts to troll me with keyboards, uh, keyboard shortcuts. I, I really don't appreciate this approach. It might be funny at times, uh, but definitely not now. <laughs> right, uh, let me just get the camera back where it's supposed to be. Uh, let's adjust our lights. Oh my goodness me, my consist just arrived. Uh, yeah, the wagons that are behind this uh, locomotive is the consist that I will be taking. Uh, so let's get ready. Okay, brakes released. Okay, there we go. Uh, where can you get this game? Uh, so, uh, under the YouTube player, uh, I put a link to, to the game. Uh, you can download it for free, um, because the game is for free. Although, yeah, you will have to learn a lot uh, to, to get started in this game. Uh, I, I don't know whose pigs are those, uh, to be fair. They are part of the locomotive. I, I don't take any responsibility for those. <laughs> uh, what am I driving? Uh, Right, I'm driving quite old uh, model of uh, diesel locomotive, or is it, I think it's diesel electric. Uh, it's called uh, ST43, if I remember correctly. Right, let me turn on left headlight. We need to jump to another cabin again, and then we will be maneuvering in this direction. Oh my goodness me, there is so much maneuvers at the beginning. Uh, let's turn the lights. Okay. Brakes released again. And now we have to wait. Yeah, the dispatcher radio. Uh, well, in fact, it's a radio chatter that it's uh, general for the map. So it's not only chatter between me and dispatcher. Uh, it's also a chatter between dispatchers and other trains. Uh, so that's an interesting part. Uh, the radio will come up uh, every now and then, and you will hear that various different radio chats. Uh, I think there should be pop-up somewhere on the screen with transcript of, of the conversation, and that should actually be translated to English, uh, so it will be easier to understand what they are talking about. Uh, but yeah, there is definitely a lot of attention to details when when it comes to design of uh, of the scenarios. Okay, we can now move. Let me release the brakes. Now it's our turn. Right, and let me perhaps set the camera a little bit lower so we can see part of the dashboard. I don't really need to see anything right in front of my locomotive, or at least too close to it.
Okay, that's gonna be a long shunt. There we go. Hey, I haven't crashed yet, so that that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. But yeah, I, I wonder what will happen. I haven't gone through entire scenario, at least once. Um, I, I went through some early bits to, to learn how to turn on this particular locomotive. And I will showcase it uh, later on during the video. Okay, I, I think that was chatter to me. Telling me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't yell at me. Right. Lights are switched. Yeah. Setting up the camera every time might sometimes be annoying. Right. Uh, brakes released. There we go. Okay, so now we need to pick up the wagons and then our timetable should show up. As I mentioned before, it should take us roughly around two hours to complete this scenario. So it's not too long and not too short at the same time. Oh yes, uh, definitely. Machina has so much rolling stock available that it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think on the main website they advertised that uh, they got around 40 different locomotives and multiple u uh, yes multiple units uh, that you can drive on top of that over a hundred different wagons that you can pull with those locomotives so there's definitely a lot in comparison to train driver which has literally just maybe five models with different paints Okay, I, I might slow down a little bit too soon. But we will gently push towards those wagons. Uh, Bolt, I do have Talkovo V2, but I'm not sure if it was officially released. Uh, I downloaded it separately. There we go. Okay, and apparently... Uh, station crew automatically connected my wagons so I don't have to go out and, and do it myself which is a nice touch all right so let's set our lights oh when your mouse is hidden oh perfect so yeah is it so if I will lock it oh no it will adjust it this position okay okay yeah that that's oh okay yeah thank you Kachan uh, definitely that will help a lot although yeah hiding my mouse is kind of confusing for me <laughs> I didn't get used to this kind of solution but well every game has its own controls uh, so let's try it oh and it doesn't really help me in this one. It, it just probably straightens the camera. So if I will turn it, yeah, it will make it pretty much straight in direction of travel. It's still better than nothing. Uh, right, so let's turn on the lights. As we will be going straight ahead. Uh, brakes can be released for now. Uh, we will have to perform a brake test 
I think I should get a radio message about it. Oh, no, that wasn't me. I can't even remember my train number, oh my goodness me. Okay, so that was someone else. <laughs> right, so uh, the game also has pretty good outside cameras. Yeah, the free camera gives you a lot of freedom. You can watch things from various different perspectives. Uh, you can also lock the camera to the train. I think there are like six or seven predefined locked cameras. So we will try to use them during the stream. It's really nice, it's really nice. So we can do some train spotting as well, <laughs> while driving a train. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the locomotive that I'm driving, ST43, number 170, pretty old engine. I can't remember if it was, I think it was Romanian made locomotives uh, correct me if I'm wrong I, I can't remember it, it it definitely wasn't a Polish model strictly there we go the only thing I hate about this game uh, is the fact that m taking a screenshot is a massive hassle. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I'm not a specialist when it comes to diesel engines. And I really wish one of those diesel engines would be in Train Driver 2. That would really bring many sceneries back to life. Like, even ST43, or uh, I think that's SU45, is it? Uh, yeah, that's SU45. That would be really nice to, to have in Train Driver 2. Yeah, we definitely need one of those. Right, anyway, uh, let's jump back to our cabin. Uh, we should get our timetable soon. Uh, so we are TMS 11.57.78. Uh, uh, is that timetable? No. Oh, that is detailed timetable. Yeah, M62 would also be good. Right, another cool thing about this game is that you actually need to change the radio channels as you go. Although, we won't see that in this scenario, but some scenarios will include a radio channel change. You need to perform uh, a radio tests and, and stuff. Otherwise, you will lose contact with uh, with train director and and uh, dispatchers. So yeah, that that's another cool feature. You actually have to use that radio. Right, uh, we got a departure signal, so I guess we are ready to go. Okay, let's see if we can actually go. really heavy but we are moving 
Are we? Yeah, we are slowly moving. Let's have a look. Uh, what's the analysis? Uh, so we are... Well, our consist weight is 1140 tons in total. Is it? Well, actual is 1131. And the length is 227 meters. That's really nice. Jessica Tim, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Oh my goodness me, so many people are watching me when I play Machina. Everyone wants to see that failure, isn't it? <laughs> Everyone wants to see me fail. Right, I, I might raise the camera a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's better. Uh, perhaps... Should we move it a little bit to the right? Yeah. I like it. Right, let's give it more juice. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't have PZB here. In fact, I could raise the camera so that I can see alerter. There we go. We are rolling, ladies and gentlemen. We are rolling. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was alert. Eh? What am I holding? Uh, I am holding some wagons with coal, if I remember correctly. There we go. Cars actually stopped in front of the crossing. Ooh, the route will go downhill from now. That's going to be interesting. Okay, I will let it coast. Uh, the weight of the wagons should actually push me forward. Uh, we can... Oops, uh, I, I pressed the... Uh, yeah, chat. I actually did it. I was trying to switch the camera. And what I did, I turned off the game. Oh, I'm silly. Right. We will have to start it one more time. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, what have I done? I'm so dumb. I weren't kidding about failing. I, like, I constantly do that. I mess up one of the controls. Yeah, there we go. Hey, now it's raining. Uh, right, let's quickly go through startup procedure. Uh, if I won't mess it up this time, uh, we might have a chance to... Uh, what was that? That was Control w then Control shift w w shift and w Okay. Oh, yeah, it would help if I would turn on oil pump. There we go. All right. Salisbury the Fox, thank you very much for subscribing me on YouTube. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I can turn this on. I can turn this on. Uh, we should be good to go, more or less. Okay. Uh, let me just turn this on. There we go.
perfect. Oh my goodness me, yeah. Uh, F for failure, guys. F for failure. I actually messed up. Oh dear. Right. Brakes are charged. And now... We should be... Good to go. Right, thankfully it doesn't really take that long to get things ready, if you remember how to do it. Uh, although we will have to wait again for our departure, so yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a fail. Right. Hey, but I wonder what will happen this time. And who knows, we might get one of those legendary drivers that decides to go through the railway crossing while the train is approaching. Because those things can actually happen in this game. <laughs> Okay. Once more, brakes. Uh, reversal should already be forward. Yeah, it would probably help if I would release the brakes. Okay, one more time. There we go. That's what happens when I try to rush things. I need to take it easy. Janek Pawełek, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Uh, Jessica Tim, I'm currently driving ST43. That's the model of locomotive I'm driving. Uh, just give me a moment so that I can... There we go. Finally, I stopped. Uh, let me just switch the lights to the correct position. Okay, we should be good in this cabin. Back to this one. Let's position myself correctly. Okay. Let's switch the lights. Release train brake. Okay, perfect. Right, right. No failures this time. Please. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, now I can show you uh, the locomotive I'm driving. Can I? Yes, I can. There we go. So that's this beauty. Oh, there we go. My wagons are coming in. They are being pulled by ST44. There we go. <laughs> Ibeo, uh yeah, I, I'm glad you enjoy my content. Uh, I, I really don't know what to answer to, to that. Uh, I, I like to play various different simulators and that includes train simulators of different kinds. Uh, but yeah, some of them definitely didn't receive enough attention from the public, so... 
it's nice to showcase them from time to time and, and play something else than mainstream stuff uh, that that is widely advertised. V200 Taiga Trommel. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Is that how it was called in Romania or in different countries? And because each country was giving their own like markings to different locomotives and countries tend to buy locomotives from each other so <coughs> or various different railways tend to buy locomotives from each other. Yes, uh, this uh, this simulator is definitely quite difficult to play or quite difficult to get into, uh, but when you finally get into it, it it's really rewarding. Right, uh, let me just jump back to my locomotive. So we need to wait for that ST44 to clear our tracks, but he has to wait for something else. Oh, passenger train. Fair enough. Another good thing about this game is that every time you load a scenario, it can go completely different. Uh, so pretty much most of the scenarios I played have some random elements to it. Uh, sometimes uh, dispatchers will route you through completely different tracks. Uh, sometimes there will be some other random events happening. Uh, sometimes you will have to let other trains go through. So you never know what will happen even, even if you play the same scenario twice. Uh, as you can see, first time we started that we had, well, better weather. And, and right now we will be driving in the rain. XDDR locomotive. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Yeah, so in Poland they they were called ST44. That was the official model and number, yeah. M62 Soviet. Okay. Oh dear, waiting for a semaphore to change is always like it feels weird yeah when i play alone it's it's like okay yeah i have to wait but on the stream it's it's like it feels weird <laughs> uh Xeli, yes uh machina is mostly single player there is a multiplayer in it somewhat uh, but yeah it's it's not like built into the menus exactly you just need to configure it a little bit and i think you can play some of the scenarios in multiplayer uh, but i've never tried it i don't even have a clue how to configure that uh, but there is some module that is called multiplayer
Thalys Boy the Fox, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. <laughs> oh my goodness me, so many new people are joining me today. I guess I will have to stream Machina more often. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Gugu, I might try it uh, next time I will be playing. Uh, definitely not today, uh, because right after this stream ends, uh, I will have to go to work, unfortunately. Oh, I see, you found me from Nico. Nice. Max Wilson, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Oh yes, I am having a great day. And how's your day? Yeah, that's, that's actually a question to everyone. If anyone wants to share. How's your day going? That that would be brilliant. Right, I believe this patcher will start yelling at me pretty soon. Okay, okay, okay. the radio off in this cabin no it's not okay but for some reason the radio was playing in the other cabin <laughs> oh wow uh, to be fair I also got up at noon Oh, Jessica, you are trying that uh, that new German route for uh, TSW2. That's nice. In fairness, I, I haven't even bought it yet. Uh, Salisbury the Fox. Uh, no, I, I don't even work for the railways in, in real life. Sally, I think everyone is waiting for that, although, uh, yeah, you can get a free demo on Steam right now and you can check how the game runs and, and yeah, there are elements that are very questionable at the moment, so. While I can't wait personally to, to get my hands on full version, I would rather get it on a fully working version instead of like a I don't know beta version or, or something That was a bit rough stop. Okay. But we made it. We are back with our wagons. Again. And hopefully this time I won't turn off the game. And switch the camera instead. Yeah, I, I, I really need to somehow figure out how to move this keyboard shortcut to something else. Right. 
and uh, let me just jump back to this cabin and set myself up uh, perhaps this camera I hope it's gonna be all right okay train brake released independent brake engaged just so that the train won't run away uh, Salisbury the Fox the game that I'm currently playing is free although it's not on Steam well you can browse it on Steam but I think you can't download it yet Yeah, that's not us. I was actually hoping that uh, mission creators included brake test, but unfortunately, it's not for us. Uh, Justin, what do you mean? If you mean if, if this game is already released, the one that I'm playing, which is Machina, uh, yes, it's it's been released since 2001, I think. <laughs> You can find the link in description of this uh, stream or video, uh, depending on when you watch it. And there should be a link to the website, you can download the game for free. Uh, obviously make sure to, to read all those encyclo encyclopedias of documentation about it, otherwise it, it might not be a pleasant experience. Definitely there will be some learning curve that you need to go through. Anyway, uh, okay, now I got the right button. Let me just set up this external camera. So that's our consist. Perfect. Fully loaded coal train. Uh, Justin, yes and no. Uh, the game is mostly focused on single player aspect. Uh, but it does have some sort of multiplayer. I never tried it. I don't know how it works. Uh, but who knows? Maybe one day I will test it with someone. There we go. We got our timetable. Uh, we are going to depart in... Pretty much now. Yeah, we should soon get our department... Our departure signal. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, oh, I see. Uh, still reset my camera position. Right, let's release the brakes and finally we can move. takes a lot to move this consist. Dominic Toretto, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you will have a great time today. My goodness me, so many people want to watch Machina. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will try to avoid switching cameras this time. Sorry, no no train spotting while driving. <laughs> yeah, and as for 
TSW too. Uh, they definitely struggle with some things, uh, as as Jessica mentioned. Uh, yeah, sounds are not the best, uh, although they are not too bad as well. Uh, not entirely realistic, but again, uh, they need to obtain all the licensing and record those sounds somehow. Uh, and again. It takes time for them to organize everything and, and get those sounds uh, implemented and improved. Uh, since this is a very commercial product. Uh, so I don't really blame uh, Dovetail for having a bit worse sounds. At least sometimes. Uh, you can switch the website to English, same as you can switch the game and the launcher, but by default it's in Polish, not Russian. There we go, cars are nicely waiting for me to pass. Again, we we really need to watch out on railway crossings because some AI drivers want to go through barriers or completely ignore them. And I had some instances where cars were literally jumping right in front of my train. Okay, I will let it coast. Right, the question is, do I have enough time to complete this scenario before I have to go to work? I still got roughly... One and a half, two hours before I have to go. Nah, I, I, I'm not angry that people confuse Polish with Russian. Okay, now we will be going uphill. Oh, now th there is definitely some bug on Tsaukovo. Uh, the other day I, I've been trying another scenario on this map and in, in different parts there were some crossings where drivers just decided yeah let's commit a suicide because it's fun uh, well maybe for them yeah I'm sure I got plenty of time right we need some more juice we are slowing down and I can do 60 on this route go okay I, I hope that the sound balance is good
Yeah, I, I think they also mentioned with the release of Train Sim World 2 that uh, this upgrade was supposed to enable multiplayer at some point or allow them to actually do it. Uh, but yeah, since since it was released over a year ago, nothing has changed. So I believe they will in, at some point try to release like TSW3. <laughs> And they will say the same story, like, oh yeah, now we updated the engine and now we can do multiplayer. Now they, they want. They probably want. Okay, chat, I'm still alive. Yeah, the, the, the train is going. I haven't derailed. Nothing bad happened. I, I guess we are good. I guess we are really good at the moment. Uh, well, if I remember correctly, the communication of SimRail team, uh, they did mention that there will be some sort of map editor. Uh, but it won't be released uh, with the game. Uh, it will be added later.